Hear, O oh heavens, and listen, O oh ye earth, land and distant coastland. Lo, and behold our finest towers. Please join prayer rally gathering of warriors. Dot ride high horse of worship, prayers and ride with the host of heavens and warriors and charge to battlefield of prayers. For it is written, Jeremiah 2011. The Lord is with us like a mighty warrior, so our persecutors will stumble and not prevail. They will fail and be thoroughly disgraced. Their dishonor will never be forgotten. Please join the gathering of warriors and charge to the battlefield of prayers. Together we run against troop and scale over walls. Together, we will thresh the mountains, crush them, and reduce the hills to chaff. Together the word of God will come to live in our hands and thunders through the heavenlies. Together, we shall tread upon snakes and lions. Together we shall turn the back battle at the gate. Together we shall wake the dawn. Please join prayer rally gathering of warrior. Every last three days of each month on PRZ 109.2 FM. Time 12 AM to 1 AM UK. The battlefield of prayers, the gathering of warriors. Where the deep calls unto the deep. And together tonight, in the mighty name of Jesus, we shall praise the Lord upon Zion in the in Jesus' mighty name. My name is Remy Kendi Tao. I'm your host and I'm prayer rally duty champion. Thanks so much for tuning in to PRZ 109.2 FM, London. Uh, tonight is the day two of the Battle of the Zion, of the Battle of Zion um, conference. Uh, this is day two, and the theme of today's conference is it says, uh, "Praise await you, O God, in Zion." Unto you we have come to fulfill our vows. Psalm 65 verse 1. Psalm 65 verse 1. I welcome you to the presence of God. I'm broadcasting live from the studio in London. I welcome you to the place of prayer, to the altar of prayer. I welcome to a place where the deep call unto the deep. I welcome all the warriors, all the valiant men and women into the place of, of worship. I welcome you because tonight we are excited. I'm excited and we're riding with the host of heavens. I'm riding the high horse of worship tonight in the with the host of heavens to a place of uh, holiness, to a place of relaxation, to a place of what I call for fortification uh, to to zion uh, we occupy zion season day one the one we did the, the battle of zion day one and tonight we are returning back so tonight is the return of the warriors on ruffled with our with our sword in our hand with the helmet of salvation with the breastplate of righteousness and and breastplate of um of faith, we have returned back Yekima, to the battlefield and we give God all the glory. Everyone under the sound of my voice, I speak to every listener, to everyone that tune in tonight to join in this prayer conference at this hour, wherever you are, that let's rise up and begin to thank God that you can make it you, you, to a place of prayer. It is good to be in the presence of God, the best place to be. Someone under the sound of my voice who is ready to take over in Zion. Tonight is the battle of Zion day two, the battlefield of prayer. We are upon Zion. We have, we have, we been to Zion, we have occupied Zion and tonight we will return. He said unto you we have returned our vows. Unto you, O God. Praise is waiting for him in, in Zion. Tonight we will see the Lord. The Lord God will show himself upon the holy hills. The Lord God will show himself in our life. This season this time, this period we are marching the someone under the sound of my voice to Zion. I said Zion we have someone under the sound. Let's declare this meeting open before the throne of grace and say God we declare it open. Please help me declare it open. Please, if you have your Bible, please turn your Bible to Psalm 8 as we declare it open before the Lord. As we declare the battle of Zion, day 2, the battle, the prayer conference, day 2 before the Lord. Let's turn our Bible. Please turn your Bible to Psalm 8 and we want to declare it open. We declare it open before the throne of grace. I want to declare the work of the Lord. I want to declare the wonder of the Lord. Someone under the sound of my voice that we declare his glory in this place and say, God, you are glorious. God, you are wonderful. How wonderful. Please, let's declare this conference open wherever we are in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's declare heaven open. The heaven above us will open. Upon Zion, there must be blessing. There must be dews upon it. 
it. Somebody under the sound of my voice. I, I said the blessing of God must rain, Yekima, must come down. The power of God, the presence of God, the fire of God upon Zion. Declare it open. Say, open the floodgate of heavens. Open heaven upon us, O God. Open heaven in Zion. As I stand in Zion, I'm yeah, someone under the sun. Who managed you made it to Zion? Who can say boldly they are in Zion? Who can say boldly they have occupied Zion? Who understand the concept of Zion? Who knows what Zion means? Who understand it? Begin to say it. Begin to decree, decree in the mighty name of Jesus uh, that now we are standing. Declare it open in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever you are in your home, please walk around. Declare it open that God will declare this meeting open in the mighty name of Jesus. Please let me turn your Bible to Psalm 8. Psalm 8. He said, Lord, please declare it. Our God, how excellent is your name. Can somebody declare the glory of God? They are declare it, O oh God, your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above all the heavens. Please help me declare that as we declare it open. I said, declare it, ye came because the Bible says, out of the mouth of babes, I speak to someone, nothing infant. You have, you have ordained praise, O oh God. Out, out of their mouth, you have ordained praise, O oh God. And that you silence the enemy and the avenger, uh, avengers in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, when we consider the work of your hand, somebody help me declare, and the work of your finger tonight that you will do, the moon and the star, you have ordained them. Help me declare the glory of God, someone under the sound of my voice, who is, open, who is ready to open the windows of heavens, who is ready to draw the curtains of heavens. Uh, I say, declare that to open with the word of God. Uh, who I decree, I say, what, what is man that you are mindful of him? And the son of man that you visit him, O God, you have made him a little lower than the angels and you have crowned him with the glory and with honor he said you have made him to have dominion over the works of your hand over you have put him you have put all things under his feet yeah somebody declare that that tonight oh god things will go under my feet i will trample upon things tonight as i stand in zion as i declare this meeting open someone under the in the under the sound of my voice even the beast of the field you put them under our feet somebody under the sound of my voice the birds of the hair and the fish of the sea that pass through the path of the sea. Somebody under the sound of my voice uh, who will declare it uh, that they have dominion in every kingdom, in every realm, they have dominion over it. Uh, oh Lord our God, declare it. How excellent is your name in all the earth. Somebody help me declare it as we declare this meeting open. I said we declare it open in the mighty name of Jesus. We say how excellent is your name, O God, in all the earth, in the mighty name of Jesus. Eh? Begin to welcome the presence of God wherever you are. Someone under the sound of my voice, welcome the presence of God in Zion. Upon Zion there shall be holiness. Upon Zion there shall be deliverance. Upon Zion somebody will see the Lord. Upon Zion you will feel the presence. Please welcome the presence of Lord wherever you are. That You are in Zion. He said, praise await you, O God, in Zion. He's already in Zion. He came out. He said, praise await you, O God, in Zion. Because we are we with we go through it. That Zion, Yekima, the ark of testimony, the ark of covenant. The, the, the first time they would take it, they took it to the Zion. To they took it to the fortress of the Jebusite. After David captured it, somebody under the sound of my voice, please release the dews of heaven. Please begin to release the presence of God to come down in Zion upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. I said there will be presence of God in Zion in the mighty help me welcome the presence of God in your home begin to welcome it that the Holy Spirit that welcome. You are welcome in my home someone under the sun. You are welcome in my territory you are welcome in my life. Welcome the presence of God. If I were you I will mention name as we declare it open. I say I welcome the spirit of peace. I welcome joy. I welcome victory. Somebody has not spoken. I'm speaking to a warrior I say welcome something. He welcomes I welcome victory tonight. I say I welcome healing into my home. I welcome unity. I say, message, take your place. They begin to welcome and say, be seated. Take your place, Yekima. For it is written, somebody has no sp peace will be within my gate. Prosperity will stand at my gate. Peace will be within my wall. Begin to declare it. According to Psalm 1, 2, 2, verse 7. Declare it, someone under the sound of my, as you welcome this presence of God and the Spirit of God in this place, in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Lord hear you in Jesus' mighty name. Once again, my name is Remy Kende Itawo. I'm your host, and we are running this bio to love uh, Zion the day two. Praise await you, O God, in Zion. There is a psalm that is coming through into my spirit. He said, Our feet are within your gates. Somebody help me declare it. Uh, we, we, we go through it, but declare it. 
my feet, somebody personalized it. They are within your gate, O Jerusalem. That is the word of God in the Psalm, Psalm 1 to 2, verse 2. But I will say tonight, I speak to warriors. I, I, I can confirm in my spirit. I know where I am. I said, I can declare that my feet, said Yekime, are within your gate, O Zion. Somebody, somebody who is sure of where they are. Somebody who is sure of what they are doing. Somebody who is sure we can hear the sound of the spirit. Somebody who has the ears of the spirit. Somebody who will listen with his eye. We begin to declare declare it that my feet your feet they are within the gate of jerusalem they are within the gate of zion begin to declare it before the lord because the psalmist says i was glad when they said unto me let's go to the house of the lord i said tonight the return of the warrior to the gate of zion the return of the warriors to zion because they say when we decree tonight everyone under the sound of my voice that god Praise await you in Zion. Praise await you in Zion. So Psalm 1 to, to somebody, help me turn to it. He said, I was glad when they said to me, let's go to the house of the Lord. I was glad when they speak to me, let's go to the house of the Lord. Because my feet, our feet are already standing within the gate, O Jerusalem. So we declare and we scream. And say, our feet are already standing, O God, in the mighty name of Jesus. He said, Jerusalem is, a, is built as a city that is compact together. Our life is built as a city that is compact. It's ready as bit as a life that is compared together somebody helping where where the tribes go up everybody will go up to zion to give thanks to the lord as you will appear somebody under the sound of my voice whatever is yours everything within your household present them before the lord say they must appear my children begin to mention hear in the word of god as i stand with the lord in zion you must appear before the Lord. In the I present you before the Lord. Present your work. Present your spouse. Someone under the sound of my voice. Present your ministry. Bring, present your church member. Present everything that is within you. Your spirit, body, and soul. Present them before the Lord in Zion. Somebody who is ready to run. Somebody who is ready to run through. This is the battlefield of prayer. We are in Zion. Somebody under the sound of my voice is begin to say. He said, "Where this is a place where the tribe we go up. The tribe of the Lord. The people of the Lord. The things of." the lord our life our destiny somebody under the sun we all appear to give thanks to the lord for the thrones are set there for judgment the throne of the house of david the throne of somebody's destiny will be set upon Zion tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. If you believe it, say amen. If you believe it, declare it. If you believe it, say so. Let the redeem of the Lord, let them say so. I speak to someone, I speak to a warrior who will say so as they stand in, in Zion in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty, mighty name, I welcome you once again. This is Zion. We This is Battle of Zion. Day 2, the uh, prayer rally night video conference where we contend, where we challenge, where the deep call unto the deep and the the uh, and the ironing, sharpeneth iron. This is where we, a place of prayer where we charge and we speak and we write with the host of heavens. Uh, it's a time and a season and a, and a time when we wake the dawn and we speak, Yekima, because we change and mold life, Yekima. We change our destiny, we speak to it, we speak to our foundation we make things happen in the place of prayer it can only happen in the place of prayer in the mighty name of jesus i welcome you to the presence of god as you stand with me as we stand together before the throne of grace in this place of prayer as i stand with the saint of the lord and declare this meeting open for the second time in the mighty name of jesus the lord will honor you in jesus mighty mighty name i welcome you to zion once again the team before me the, today that way the foundational scripture is taken from the the psalm of david psalm 65 verse 1 to the chief musician maybe you are not aware there are 53 psalms of like that with that title to the chief musician they are special this must be kept this has the history behind it for david to say praise i wait you oh god in zion so so many things have happened so many what what has have passed through on, under the bridge he has passed through a lot and we will walk through with david tonight say so i want uh, warriors will walk through with David tonight uh, so that we will understand uh, why praise needs to wait for him in Zion why Yekimako why the Zion are not uh, Oreb why Zion are not Saint Sinar why Zion are not uh, because Yekimako so this great man I said the, 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 this king this person I uh, Pass through a lot. He said, Praise await you. That somebody will say at the end of this and say, Praise await you, O God, in Zion. But so, before we run through it, someone under the sound of my voice who is ready to praise the Lord, we begin 
to declare that God, I thank you for what you will do tonight. Please let me declare it. I thank you, God, for what you will do. You will show yourself stronger. You, you will come through for me. Somebody has not spoken. I will see you in this season, oh God. This time you will visit my tent. Somebody needs to do this time you will unfold. Everyone will unfold. You will release the best grains. You will release the best wine. Somebody has not said anything. I say in this season, somebody will believe. Somebody will understand. Should declare it as they stand before the Lord in Zion. It's a place of prayer. It's a place of worship. We said praise await you. Praise is waiting for you. I have taken the ark of testimony because it took the ark of testimony in 2 Samuel. The very first time Zion was mentioned was 2 Samuel chapter 5 verse 7. But he took the ark and in chapter 6, they took the ark towards for the very first time to house it in the, the house of the Lord. They took it towards Zion. He said, Now I have taken over the enemy. Now I have cleared the path. You have given me the best of the best, the best of the land. From being a shepherd, I'm speaking to someone, to the palace, came across the road. from being another, a fugitive, somebody on that mind, to the hem of affairs. I'm speaking to someone who has been through. I said, A, a man one night, he came out, decided to take the ark of testimony to that Zion, to Zion, to a place and say God and he said to the Lord praise await you O God he paid it he wrote this beautiful psalm he said but keep it to the chief musician this must be kept in Israel this must be told in Israel there is a history behind it that is this psalm to the chief musician 53 of such special one out of 73 written by David I'm speaking to someone at the sound of my voice. Who will rise in their spirit right now? Who will sing it unto the Lord? Who will dance before the Lord? Who will say something and say, Lord God, you came Akosoro. We are here before your throne. Who will say great things before the Lord and begin to worship the Lord? You came as you stand, you came in all as you stand shoulder to shoulder in this place of prayer before the Lord. Begin to worship him and welcome him. Please welcome him. God is awesome. It's awesome, God. Wherever you are, welcome him. E aqui na Constituição. Please welcome the Lord.
as you begin to worship the Lord, begin to thank Him that God, you have done wonders in our life and you will do it again in the mighty name of Jesus. Begin to thank the Lord that you are wholesome in this place. Begin to exalt His holy name. Begin to worship Him. Because tonight you said, Praise await Him, O God in Zion. We have reason to say, Praise is waiting for Him. Somebody under the sound of my voice who will thank God for what the Lord will do and also thank the Lord for what He will not do. I say, Because tonight in this place, Jake, man, the God is not a man that He will lie, neither the Son of Man that He, should repent, he will repent. Should it we will repent. Begin to declare before the Lord. The Lord will not lie to me. Somebody else. If the Lord will show up, the Lord will not allow my life to be messed up. Somebody has not spoken. I said in Zion, I am thanking the Lord for what the Lord will not do. He will not allow death to come into my dwelling. The Lord will not allow disease to come into my dwelling. The Lord will not allow poverty to come into my dwelling. The Lord will not allow begin to declare whatever you know that the Lord will not allow. Because the Lord Thank God for what he will not do. You will not go, you will not be locked up. Somebody under the sound of my voice, the Lord will not allow financial embarrassment to take place. Somebody under the sound of my voice, who understand, who knows the God they serve, the Lord that dwells upon Zion, that this God will show up for me. He will not allow me, the thing, devil to mess me up in the mighty name of Jesus. I thank the Lord for what the Lord will not do. I thank the Lord for what the Lord will not do in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus in Jesus mighty name Amen. Once again, I welcome you. This is, if you are tuning in for the very first time, this is Prayer Rally Night Fiji Conference. And today is day two, the monthly conference, every last three days of each month. Uh, today is day two of the battle field of prayer, the battle of Zion. We've been looking at Zion day one, and I will just do, do a quick recap of what we did in day one uh, for, the, for the sake of those who are tuning in for the very first time. And we we just do another quick exposition around day two, why the praise should wait for him in Zion because tonight we are going to walk and walk very fast. We are going to run and run very fast. As we are running with David, and also we are riding with the host of heavens. And we are making our way, Yeki Makoso, to the throne room of God. We are making our way to the heavens. We are going to ride through the stairways of heavens. We are going to trash down every altar, Yeki every evil altar as we ride through together tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. It's going to be awesome in Jesus' mighty name. The battle of uh, Zion, the day one, we looked at. Nevertheless, the very first time Zion was ever mentioned was in the book of Second Samuel, the second volume, twenty-four chapters. And we look at the fifth chapter of that volume, second volume, Second Samuel. We look at it, the fifth chapter, the uh, the seventh verse, uh, the verse seven. He said, "Nevertheless, anyhow, somehow, somehow, uh, anyway, in, in any shape, in spite of, in every way." We look at every form and what that nevertheless could mean, and could, we we realize that nevertheless, David, the Bible said, he captured the stronghold of his uh, the the Jebusite in Zion and in the fortress. They call it the fortress of this Jebusite, and he named it the city of David. The very first time it was mentioned, and we realize that uh, it is a place of uh, relaxation, a place of comfort, a place of fortification. But he took it. The most important thing was he took and uh, he decided to take an action one night because the Bible recorded in verse six that he marched. They he did not wait for the war to come to him. He marched over to Zion. He decided to take over the Zion because of the strategic position and was the helm of power. If they fortified, it was seriously fortified. Um, that was a, the the the, the Jebusite, the best part of the the land of uh, Canaan. And he decided to take over this territory despite the, uh, the intimidation, the humiliation. They told him, even the lame and the lame, uh, the, uh, the lamb, lame and the blind, uh, he cannot even walk away. I mean, he cannot uh, fight those ones, uh, he can't wait them off. They, they, they make it was a, a, a kind of mockery. So we realized that the, the Jebusite, the spirit of Jebusite, we undermine yeah, and eventually he captured their territory, he captured it. Nevertheless, the Bible could didn't tell us how he did it, but the God was with him. The Lord was with him. He took the stronghold of his enemy and he built, he fortified it. They call it the city of David, and he decided to bring the ark of God into that particular place to to to, to rest the ark of the Lord. And he danced the day he, he he went to. I want you to look at Second Samuel chapter six, verse. 
8, 9, 10. That was when David was preparing and dancing with every kind of instrument that somebody would dance with tonight and dance before the Lord to welcome the ark of God, the ark of testimony. Like somebody will welcome their testimony, the ark before the Lord and dance in by faith. They will dance before the Lord in Zion tonight and say, God, with all their heart, their praise truly awaits you, O oh God, in Zion. Because I'm talking about someone a king. I'm talking of this great king, the second king of of of, uh, of what I will call the United Kingdom, because the kingdom was still united in Israel between Israel and Judah. The very second king after after King Saul, who was the first king of the ancient Israel. Uh, I am talking. Uh, we are looking at this great man, a young shepherd. I would say that was first famous for, for being a musician. He, he, he used to play instruments and harp, and also for killing the Goliath. I'm talking about a man that went through. So I went to us to go through the journey of David, what he went through before he could arrive at that place, before he could pen this particular beautiful psalm, before he could hide it, Yekima. I want us to just walk through the journey with him. So you are going to walk very fast. As warriors, we walk through so many scriptures together and see what this man went through in as we go through the scriptures, the Bible says when he killed the Goliath and around that time, he penned a, pen, a, a psalm and this very psalm, I want us to read it. He said, the Lord is my shepherd. I'm speaking to someone I will not want. He make me to lie down. This is a great man. He restored my soul. He led me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. Even though I walk in the valley of shadow of death, the shadow of Goliath. I don't know what somebody is going through, but somebody will rise up. I'm speaking to a warrior that will say even though he came, I might be right going through the valley of shadow of death in verse 4 of psalm 23 he said but i will fear no evil i'm speaking to someone who will fear no man because they know the god is with them they will fear they will not be afraid of any man what can man do to me people will beat their chest he was able to do it he walked through it he said i walked through the shadow but i will fear none for you are with me your rod your word they comfort me i eat them that was what jeremiah said jeremiah 15 16. He said, I eat your word. They are sweet to my bones. I eat them. I did eat your word. You can eat the word of God. You can feed on it. I'm speaking to someone. Whatever you are going through, have the word in you. Feed on it. He said, they comfort me. I don't know about you, but whosoever can feed on the word of God, whosoever can feed on it. He said, he prepared a table. He went through it. He before me in the presence of my enemy. You anointed my head. In the secret, in 30 years, I'm talking about this. We are going through the journey of this man. He, uh, he was anointed for 13 good years. 13 years of running out of scatter as a fugitive. But I'm talking to you. He anointed my head. He was so sure. I don't know about you. I'm so sure of my destiny. I'm sure of my tomorrow. I know the Lord will be there. I said the anointing of God is upon you. It's upon me. It's upon every child of God. Everyone under the sound of my voice. The anointing of God. He said it, he anointed. He was sure. But he went through a lot. I'm speaking about a man who was so sure he received oil upon his head and yet his life, he was running out of scatter. I don't know if I'm speaking to someone, but you'll be running and you'll be praying. You'll be running and you'll be praying. You, because this God will make your cup to run over in the presence of your enemy. This God will make your oil to run over. Things will come easy. Amen. This God will show up. He show up for David. He will show up for someone under the sound of my voice. Somebody will rise up with me and declare this. The journey of uh, uh, David. He said something in Psalm 23. He said in Psalm 23, verse 6, he said something, but surely I speak to someone, goodness and mercy shall follow me. Can you turn it into prayer? If you believe it, if you can say it with it, you, you, it will turn right before your eyes into sword, Jekimako. Right before your eyes, Jekima. Things will begin to happen in Zion if you can say, surely, and I speak to someone, I speak to situation, I speak out, I say, hear, O heavens, and listen, O heart, hear, O warriors and listen oh shepherdess hear oh champlain and listen oh pastor i say surely i confirm i stand in this place as a child of god i stand as a woman of god i stand as a woman that sits at the gate of nations i speak and i said surely i speak to someone goodness and mercy shall follow me all i shall follow you all the days of your life if you believe it you will dwell in the house of god you will stand in his holy place you will be in the place of prayer you will show up in zion because daughters of zion show up in place of prayer they are all they always show up in place of prayer yekima kosotoro all the yekima so begin to declare it all the days of my life the, you will show up i will dwell in there in the mighty name of jesus i'm talking to you about a man who went through a lot of um 
hostility, a lot of rivalry, a lot of situation. In, in Psalm 2, he, he looked around him, even in the palace, he was wondering what on earth could be going on. He said, why do nation rage? He was confused. I'm t- taking you through a journey of a man that went through so much and whatever is popping through. Why do people rage? Why do they imagine venting? He was asking questions. The heart or the king of the heart said themselves, the ruler take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. So if somebody under the sound of my voice, whosoever is taking counsel together as you are walking, as you are running to make your way to a place of where you will worship the Lord, everything that is taking counsel together as this man has gone through, he knew that God was with him all along. So he had every cause to go and praise God in Zion because he had already put the ark of covenant, the ark of testimony upon Zion. Those that will go there, those that will say praise and wait you, O God, in Zion, they have been through, they, they have been through the wilderness, they have been through caves to caves. I'm speaking and I'm talking about this. They have been to palaces, they have been to places, they have been messed up, but yet they refuse to give up. They just keep going, they just keep running. Because one thing is for sure, he said, He anointed my head with oil. They are sure of what they are in Christ, regardless of what they, go, they, they are going through. They were so sure. David was so sure that he was anointed. Are you sure? I'm speaking to someone who's running and running, who's running and praying. That, uh, but he anointed me. If you can hold on to that, he anointed this head with oil, regardless of what I'm going through. But he anointed me. I was anointed in the secret. He knew he was anointed and he was waiting. Those that trust in the Lord in upon Zion, he laid a stone, a stone in Zion. He said, I laid a stone, a stone in Zion. Those who trust him, they will, they, a, found, a sure foundation, a firm one as a cornerstone. Those who trust him, those who wait for him, those who believe him, they do not make haste. They don't rush. They are not ashamed. According to Isaiah 26 verse 18. And speaking about this great man, he said, Let us break their band and cast them. He that sit upon the throne shall laugh. He will laugh at them in verse 4 of Psalm 2. If you can pray, just pray as you go along that this great man went through a lot. I'm talking about uh, this great uh, the king, the second king of the united Israel and Judah. He was still united at the time of at this time. Uh, this second king he wrote and penned this great psalm. He went through a lot. I'm talking about the time when he even had to run away from Saul. He was running. Jonathan told him to run away. He, he, he penned another psalm. I'm speaking to someone. Psalm 11. He, he looked around. He said, if someone help me to turn your Bible to Psalm 11. Psalm 11. I just want you to see why you will make your way. When you will find, your, you will find yourself in Zion. You will be at Zion by the time you walk through it. In the mighty name of Jesus, he said something in Psalm 11. He said, in the Lord, I put my trust. He came back with people that stand in Zion. Yeah. How can you say, I'm speaking to situation, I'm speaking to circumstances. How can you say, Jonathan, flee like a bird to your mountains. Why will I be running elter scatter? I speak to someone, begin to pray, whatever is making me to run elter scatter, whatever is making me to da- to run up and down, I turn around and I say this one word, somebody help me declare it, in Psalm 11 verse 1, I said, in Lord, repeat it, that I trust. I, I can you, I, what can circumstances? Why will immigration? Why will somebody? Why will death? Why will job? Why would begin to challenge that? Say to your soul, flee, run like a bird to your mountain. How can please somebody help me say? Let me declare it. Although if foundation is faulty, said, what can the righteous do? But the Lord is His only temple. Somebody verse four. The Lord. God is in all his temple. He's here tonight. The Lord is in every home. Every one under the sound of my voice. Who is ready? Who is standing? Who is going up and down? And say the Lord's throne is in heaven. Sir. His eyes is beyond. His eyes is upon us. The eyes of the Lord is upon the righteous. Who will declare it as they run through it. And say Kimakoso. But one thing is for sure. The Lord will reign upon the wicked. Reign. He will reign upon the wicked. Begin to say it. He will reign upon the wicked as I'm making my way to Zion. He will 
will rain upon the weekend. I'm taking my, as for me, more, I'm taking my ark of testimony unto Zion. I said, praise is waiting for him. The Lord is there. I said, praise is waiting for him because he has done great things. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe you don't know this great man went through so much. He came in Psalm 34 when he was running away from Haimelech. The Bible says he, he pretended to be a mad person when he was recognized. They realized that was it not David that killed the Goliath? The one that David saw was looking for. He realized that, wow, he would be in trouble. He wrote and he was running. He wrote and said, I will bless the Lord at all times. So all his life is full of thanksgiving and prayer taking. Pending and asking God, petitioning before the Lord, asking and raising questions. Inquiring from the Lord, the one after the Lord's heart, the one that is always making inquiry. Nine times in one chapter, he made inquiry in First Samuel chapter 30. He made inquiry a man after the Lord's heart. He said, I will bless the Lord well, at all times. Somebody under the sound of my voice who is ready to bless the Lord. Uh, he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. Yeke Marcoso, bless the Lord. His praise will continually be in my mouth. My soul shall boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear. He was saying a lot. And if you look at verse 5, he said, those that look upon him, they, they are not afraid. They are not ashamed. Those that look upon him, he said, many are the affliction of the righteous. Yeke someone under the sound of, but the Lord delivered them all. In verse 19, I'm speaking to someone. This man went through a lot. I, I'm telling you that when he got to the cave of Adullam, he penned another one. Say, everybody say, he penned another one. This is Psalm 57. Uh, if you can turn to it, uh, the cave of Adullam, he said something to someone. He said, Be merciful unto me. Somebody needs to. He's gone through that journey before he made himself find himself in Zion. Those that will stand in Zion, they have been through the wilderness. I said, They have been to the cave of life, they have been to the cave of Adullam. The cave of Adullam is ran there. He, the Bible said he remained in the stronghold. They came out. He was hiding with, with, his, uh, with his army. Army of rejected people who are poor people who are the Bible describes them. He, he was the army over them, but he spent something in the cave of Adullam. He was crying and was writing, and he said, Be merciful unto me. I speak to one in the cave that belonged to wild animals. He was sharing our home with wild animals, both man and beast. He said, be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me. Somebody help me cry out. For my soul trust in thee, O God. In the shadow of the, your wings, I, I will take my refuge unto this calamity, Passover. I don't know whether you're in that shoe, but somebody under the sound of my voice, this it might be for you. If you draw it, it will become a sword in your hand. If you draw it, this word will come to life to you. I say, but somebody under the sound of my voice, who will say, be merciful unto me, O God. Be merciful unto me. My soul trust in you and not in anybody. I live in the shadow of your wings, who will cry out in Zion. We will use these scriptures when they get to Zion. We will scream from the from Zion and say, from Zion I call unto thee. We will say, but I take refuge unto this calamity, unto this trouble, unto the pass in the mighty name of Jesus. May you take refuge in the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. He went on for that to say something. He said, I cry unto the Lord most high. Unto God that I perform all things, the Lord that perform all things for me. And speaking to Flo, he will send down from heaven, verse 3, and he will save me from the reproach of him that will swallow me up. Yeki Makosoto, Silai, let's stop here and think. He, he will send from heaven, sir. I'm talking, uh, we're going through the, 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 the journey of this man. And we're riding through you today. He will send me from heaven. Somebody who can post Yekima and look at Psalm 57, verse 3. The Lord will send me, will send from heavens he will save me from the reproach somebody has not spoken he will he will save me Rebbe Kendita, from the reproach of him that will swallow me up he came out that want to swallow he said but god has sent forth his mercy and his truth is ahead of me he will be ahead of someone say amen i said the mercy of god and his truth will be ahead of someone who is staying who is occupying the gate of zion who can say boldly our feet are within your gates oh jerusalem our feet are within your gate oh zion he said to verse 4 my soul is among lions look i lie even among them i i set on fire even the son of men whose teeth their teeth are like spears they went to talk to me and their arrows and their tongue a sharp sword he said be thou exalted O god above the heavens let their glory be all over the earth 
He said they have prepared net all the step. My soul bowed. This man went through a, a lot. And in verse 8, which I wanted to know, he said, Awake. Hey, somebody help me. Awake, please. If you will not do anything tonight, just wake something up. Awake my glory. Awake, Yekima. You need to wake yourself up. You need to wake your glory. Somebody needs to wake their destiny. That dream needs to rise up as you make your way to Zion. Because he went through all that. He paid it, Yekima. Psalm 57, verse 8. He said, Awake. Wake up, Yekima. Slam it. Wake it up, Yekima. Slap it, somebody on it. My glory. Awake, Yekima. My up and palmistry. Awake, Yekima. I myself. My spirit, my soul, I will wake early. Thank God for rising up. Thank God for waking the dawn. I speak to dawn wakers who will go with me and look at what he said again. In the same cave of Adulam, he pain another one. When things were getting tight, I'm making my way to Zion. I say, praise await your God in Zion. The Bible say in Psalm 142, if you can turn your Bible to 142, I cried unto the Lord with my voice. And my voice unto the Lord, I made all my constables. I pour my complain somebody needs to before him i show myself even though my spirit was overwhelmed within me but i he knew my path yekima the way i walk yekima he will not allow the devil to take me somebody on that mind he said attend to my cry for i have been brought low he's been through a lot the same great person was able to even cry for his enemy the bible says he penned something that heaven recorded for him in Psalm, Second Samuel, chapter one, verse twenty to twenty-five, he said, "But tell it not in Gath, somebody under the sound of my voice. Publish it not in the street of Ascalon." Despite all the troubles, Yekimakosoto, when his enemy died on the mountain of Goba, he said, "But publish it not, Yekimakosoto. It's a battle of honor." He said, "Let list the daughters of Philistines, the uncircumcised, list the rejoice of ours, Yekimakosoto." I don't know whether you have a situation like that. I want us to pause and pray with this as I make my way to, to Zion. As I make my way and join David in Zion, as I make my way and join the, the, the warriors in Zion, as I make my way, I join the host of heavens in Zion and say, praise await you, O God, in Zion. But he said something, he said, publish it not in Gath. Let my enemy, let them not mock me. Even though his enemy died, but what about the, the glory of Israel? He said, tell it not in Gath, I speak to someone, publish it not in the street of Ascalon. List the daughters of Philistine and Shumakos. List the rejoice. List the uncircumcised triumph. He said, Oh, you mountain, I speak to it. Let there be no dues. Whatever mountain, Yekima, any mountain of issues, mountain of problems that is given you. He said, Let there be no dues upon you. Let no field of offering be there. Because he said, There, the shield of the mighty is cast away the shield of Saul. He died as if he had not been anointed. So, Somebody help me rise. My life, as you make your way to Zion, my, your life must not be as if you have not been anointed. He said, come and look at the shield of the mighty. May your shield, as you are standing in the place of prayer, may you not doze off, may you not sleep in the sleep of death. As you are walking with God, may you not backslide, may you not walk back. May the shield of the mighty that is in your hand, may they not drop somebody under the sand. Because one night he dropped in the hand of Saul. I speak to someone, may they not drop. He said, Come and see how they kill Saul as if he had not been anointed. He went through so many emotions as if he had not been anointed. May your life, somebody under the sound of my voice, may my life not be. As if I've not been anointed, he came across wrong. He said, From the slain, from the blood of the slain and the fat of the mighty, the bow of Jonathan turned not back, and the sword of Saul did not return. But thank God, somebody under the sound of my voice, who we boast their chest, but we return with our shield tonight. We return with our shield before the Lord, we return with our shield before the Lord Almighty. Who we say that before the Lord? He said, How have the mighty fallen and the weapon of warfare have been 
destroyed. How are the mighty fallen? He went through all that and his final battle, the one that he fought, that he took the, the, the greatest of them all was the, 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 the fortress of the of, of Zion. He, he took that fortress. He marched up. It was an unprovoked attack, but he knew he had to take the battle to the gates before they come to him. If he can take that, he will take the rest of Israel. Then he fortified it. He made it a city. He recorded it. And if ever recognized that achievement, ever recognized that bold step, somebody needs to take it. And he said with all